Thank you. Uh, now we'll hear from our respondent, Robin Holzer, who's the chair of the Citizens Transportation Coalition. Thank you, Robin. Thank you. Um, to the first question about every project, all uses, I just wanted to cycle back around and make sure I heard everybody correctly. Um, and these, you would say that's a no to all uses or a yes to all uses? Yes to all uses, but not beyond the scope of the city of Houston. The question was a little broad. Indeed. The idea being there's a, there's a bully pulpit and the city has an opportunity to partner. And then to Peter, I didn't hear a yes or a no on the all uses piece specifically, but I'm assuming. Well, that's, a, that's something that, that has to be part of uh, uh, good planning and uh, good standards. I would quote Jane Jacobs and say the purpose of cities is to maximize exchange and minimize travel time. Think about that. And I think every decision investing the taxpayer's dollars should follow that principle. Sometimes I think we got it backwards. Okay, so maximize exchange, minimize travel time. But, but to put a, a firm that yes or no, so yeah, sidewalks, yeah. sidewalks, bike paths, you would say yes to all uses for all projects in the city? Absolutely. They need to, they, they need to promote uh, uh, mobility choices. Okay. Thank you. I want to take just one second to do something slightly unconventional, perhaps, with them. As I heard everybody say, yes, all uses are important. And, and part of where that question comes from is our work with neighborhoods that we hear from people who don't have cars as an option. In, in Harris County, there are 100,000 households with no car, and I would wager that an awful lot of people in this room know somebody who cannot or does not drive. And so what I want to do just briefly is, could you give me a show of hands if you know somebody who cannot or does not drive? Everybody in the audience. Okay, so these are people for our transportation system to serve. So you guys are you're in good shed and good set with your yeses there. The other thing I want to come back to you is on the question about a single department or a team to handle transportation. A specific example is when we look at our roadways and what determines how many cars it moves effectively, congestion is often caused by turning movements in and out of driveways. And so one of the things that determines how much capacity a roadway has is how many driveways there are and whether people are making turns. In the city of Houston, the, the engineers who are deciding what a roadway capacity should be are over in public works, but the people who are deciding how many driveway cuts a property ought to have are over in planning, and they're not necessarily talking to one another. I heard several answers about how to coordinate that, but I want to cycle back um, again to Peter and to Anise about how would you foster that, that coordination in the absence of a single department, in either order. Uh, well, first of all, uh, uh, we need uh, click on these issues, whether um, uh, walkable city, uh, bike friendly city, transit city, these are all areas where we need to make progress. We've got car city, we made a lot of progress there, although congestion has been the result. We need to have very clearly published policies that all the citizens, neighborhood people know what the policies are. Then we've got to have standards that we don't have right now. Uh, and the, the spacing of curb cuts on different kinds of streets. And by the way, we do not even have a class, a modern classification of streets in the city of Houston, but I'm uh, seeing that we get one pretty soon, working on that with the Public Works Department. Uh, the Public Works Design Manual and Chapter 42 are two documents that we use to try to promote efficient transportation and uh, protect neighborhoods. But in my opinion, there, there, there's so many band-aids that have been put in most of those documents. When I'm mayor, folks, we're gonna, we're gonna simplify chapter 42 to get, to make it outcomes driven. Yeah. We, we need, oh, and I'll end, end up with that, but, but you, you get where I'm at. Thank you, Anise. I'm actually, I think I'm about to agree with Peter, which I know is a surprise, but the, 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 the plan is... I'll agree course. with you on another subject. <laughs> uh, uh, that we need to set, we, we, we need to set the, the standards in advance and not do them on an ad hoc basis. And uh, I firmly believe that the, the two departments can coordinate on a, to, to, to set the, the transportation standards for the city of Houston and then carry out their respective functions within that role, and that we also need to coordinate at a, at a very high level with the other government entities uh, in the city of Houston that, that uh, 
the impact of visualization. Thank you. Thank you. Um, now we're going to move on to the third question.